evening, welcome back to Sally Kitchen Club. Uh, tonight we're going to make a red pesto crusted salmon. Red pesto is made pretty much the same way that normal pesto is made. If you want to learn how to make that, check out my pesto pasta video. The only difference being, instead of using all that basil, uh, red pesto is mainly made with sun-dried tomatoes and red peppers. Um, it's full of flavour and really good with seafood as well. I'll take you through the ingredients. So I have two Scottish salmon fillets, four tablespoons of red pesto, I have half of a red onion and two cloves of garlic. I have one medium red chilli but I'm only going to use a quarter to a half of it. A teaspoon of dried oregano, I'm going to use the zest of half of this lemon and I'm also going to use a little drizzle of lemon juice as well. Two tablespoons of breadcrumbs, a few sprigs of fresh basil and three tablespoons of walnuts. First things first, preheat your oven to 180 degrees. So it's really simple to throw this dish together. Um, so take your half onion first of all, and you're just going to chop it as small as you can. All right, throw that onion into your mixing bowl. Do the same with your garlic and half a chili. Okay, fantastic. Throw your garlic and your chilli into the bowl as well. So throw in your breadcrumbs, your black pepper and your dried oregano. We're going to take just a few of these sprigs of fresh basil. We're going to just quickly chop those as well. Throw those into the bowl. We're going to whip out our grater. I'm going to use a small side just to zest our lemon. So I want roughly half of this lemon zested. Fantastic. So that lemon zest then I can go in the bowl as well. The best way to explain this dish is just a bowl full of flavour going on top of some really succulent, really fresh. Scottish salmon fillets. Really healthy, quick and easy to knock up, and great for an evening meal. So take the rest of your lemon, cut it in half, and we just want the juice from one half of the lemon. If you squeeze it over your hands, you'll catch the pips so they don't go in your dish. So pop your pesto in there as well. Brilliant. And your olive oil. Then last but not least, what we have is some walnuts. Okay, so you can do this one of two ways. You can either use a pestle and mortar and get them ground up in there. What we're looking for is we don't want them to turn into a powder. We want some nice texture. So we want different sized pieces. So what we're gonna do is pop our walnuts in the pestle and mortar and just grind them up. As I said, they don't have to be absolutely tiny. Or, if you prefer, you can use a food processor or a blender and just whiz them up a couple of times in there. But as I say, don't go too far, don't turn them into powder. Okay, so now all them walnuts are in there with the rest. Just gonna get in there with a fork, and give that a really, really good mix together. Get all these flavors worked together. Make sure the consistency is nice and even. Okay, the very next thing I'm gonna do Take some tin foil and just line the bottom of an oven dish. Just going to spray the bottom with a little cooking spray it's just to stop the skin sticking. Place our salmon fillets onto the tin foil. And what we want is this crust on top of our salmon, okay? Okay, fantastic. So once you're at this stage, that's when we're ready to go into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes at 180 degrees. Okay, I'm just going to plate these up now. 